All right, this one has kind of got a hidden gem inside of it, and it's called a... Uh, 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 <laughs> a gem. A gem. Yeah, no, it's a yeah, but, uh, uh, shit premac principle, um, which that's not really don't, no. It's not a shit premac principle. It, <laughs> well, it could. Be. I'm sorry, premac. I don't mean to bastardize your principle. Um, so premac principle is really cool. Let's do the simple part first. Action can be reinforcing. So behavior itself can reinforce behavior, right? Um, <laughs> Sorry, so Premac talked about that a lot, and then we developed the Premac principle accordingly, which was that access to high probability behavior can reinforce low probability behavior. Right? You wanna eat a cookie? Eat your vegetables first. You wanna go outside and play with your friends? Do your homework first. High probability behavior, stuff you want to do, stuff that's like oh, highly reinforcing to you, or um, stuff that is a, a strong motivation, motivating operation has been established for, uh, will, oftentimes reinforce behavior that has a low probability of occurrence, right? The hidden gem that I'm talking about is that this is really powerful in thinking about what is really a reinforcer. Is a stimulus a reinforcer or is it an action, right? You know, there's some interesting thoughts to be had there because the only way you can, you know, sort of you know, experience a stimulus is to you know, taste it, eat it, drink it, whatever. You know that sort of thing? You get my idea here? There's always a behavior involved. So uh, premac principle is kind of like grandma's rule. You got to do the, the hard stuff before you do the fun stuff. Premac principle works really, really well in applied settings. And parenting.